Thank you for signing up for this um, freebie for seven practical peas to improve your posture and reduce your back pain. I sincerely hope this works and I'm excited to just show you some things that you can just blend into your day. You don't have to get into full yoga garb. You can just um, integrate these tips throughout your day. Let's go. Number one, pillow. Take a pillow and roll it up, or it could be a towel or anything, whatever height feels the best for you. And just lay it across your shoulder blades, lay over the top of it so it gives you a nice, gentle, some nice, gentle pressure. You can reach your arms overhead and counteract some of that forward rounding that we get in that upper spine. We want a little bit of rounding, but this helps to counteract too much of it. You, if it's not comfortable, you can also lay your arms out to the side and then you're just going to breathe deep and just kind of relax into it and find some opening there and some relaxing. This is a wonderful thing to do first thing in the morning when you're still in bed or when you go to bed at night. Again, this is wonderful if you can leave your arms up here. That gives you an even greater stretch. Number two, pretzel. So again, in bed, maybe after pillow, you're going to lie down on your back, bring your knees up to your chest, reach your right arm over now let's do your right arm across your knees. Let the knees fall to the right and reach your arm up and then follow that hand to your left with the palm up and open things up. Another wonderful chest opener. Breathing deep here in this twist. So not much of a pretzel, but it was a good P word and just take some nice deep breaths. Taking one to five breaths here works. This is also, I'm gonna switch sides. This is also a wonderful thing. Reaching the arm up and then opening and following that palm down to the ground, trying to get your shoulder blades down and just breathe. Like one to five breaths on each side. I would stay longer if I was lying down, but you can also do this in a chair and just twisting and looking over. You can also do it standing. Anytime you can get a good twist, twist in, I would do it. Keep that spine mobile and happy. Number three press. So again, from your bed or your mat or whatever, you're going to loop a yoga strap, a towel, a belt, whatever you have handy around the ball of your foot and straighten your knee. Now you can, if that's not comfortable to, to straighten the other leg, you can keep it bent, but you might get an even better stretch. The goal here is to stretch the hamstrings the muscle group on the back of the thigh. And to do that, you really need to straighten your knee and press up to the ceiling. And as you kind of press through the heel, you'll get more of a stretch through the calf muscle as well as your hamstring muscles. Two problem areas, problem tight areas that can add to your back pain create a, a problem. If you would like to guide that leg over to the side just a little, you can find a nice stretch along the outside hip also. And then we'll switch sides. So <clears throat> five to 10 breaths on each leg would be awesome. Longer is even better if you have the time if it feels really good. 
So stretching up through the left leg, pressing through the heel, finding that stretch down in the calf and in the hamstrings. This is also a wonderful thing um, to do in bed, for sure. Taking the time to get a stretch in bed. Try not to create a lot of tension up in the shoulders. Again, you can reach it over to the side. Just guide it a little and see how that changes the stretch. Number four, pinch. So we're talking about pinching the shoulder blades together. I can spread my shoulder blades apart and pinch them together, exercising important postural muscles in the upper back. Another way to do this on the mat or in the bed is to start on the floor with your hands close to your chest. Pull or tilt your pelvis so the pubic bone is down so that protects your back and then lift keeping the shoulders or the elbows in close to the body. Engaging all the muscles up and down the spine, especially upper and middle back, other muscles along the up, middle and upper back. So lifting and breathing. This shoulder blade exercise can also be done in the chair, in the bed, standing, anytime you can remember to open up, pinch your shoulder blades and slide them down. Number five, pecs. This is a great one you can do anytime you're passing through a doorway. Just bring your hands on either side, bent elbows, and just open up and stretch as you walk through. Feels awesome. You can also give yourself a good stretch by reaching for, some of you it might be closer than for me, but reaching up, give yourself a little extension in your spine. And then you can also have one arm straight and just on any wall, and then just turn away from that straight arm Stretch, that gives you such a great stretch. The pecs get really short and tight when we have poor posture. So this is a great way to coax them throughout the day to open up. Number six, peak, meaning mountain peak. So this is a yoga pose that is, can be integrated throughout your day. Sitting, standing, waiting in line, doing dishes, um, talking on the phone whenever you need. I'm gonna use my buddy here. His name is Pelvis Presley, and he will be um, giving us some landmarks on how to line up. So first of all, we'll use my myself. So we start at the feet with a good foundation, all 10 toes pointing forward. Lean back so you can feel the weight more in your ankles instead of the forefront, forefoot. So <clears throat> leaning back just enough and then trying to get your hips to line up over the ankles and the rib cage to shine down right on the ribs. So you can see my hips and my ribs if I were to go like this and try to get, try to um, balance things and my ribs would be way over. So I'm gonna pull that in. And then sometimes that makes you round. So you line that up and then you engage those good upper back muscles opening up your shoulders. You can roll your palms forward like so, but if you don't want to be that obvious, at least to bring them so that they're facing the body, not this way. We're trying to open up the shoulders. And then we're, again, we're thinking about bringing the shoulders down the back just a little bit. Using the head here, we're gonna really focus on head ramping. So many of us have a forward head, head tendency. So I just want you to ramp the head up, but keep it long so it's not like you're doing this. We want to keep the neck long and pull the head and align the ears right over the shoulders. As a bonus, you can reach up and lengthen the spine, but you don't need to, especially if you're in the middle of the grocery store. So we were looking at pelvis here. 
He's a little bit of a forward head, but his ear should hang right over his, line up right over his shoulder, right over his hip bone, right here, and then down and line up over this big heel bone and ankle. A great place to use mountain pose is in a chair where anytime that you're working for too long and you find yourself rounding, pull yourself back up, squeeze those shoulder blades together and down. And I love, especially in a car, I love um, practicing head ramp in a car. So pretend I'm in a car holding my steering wheel. I can like lengthen my neck and stretch the back of my neck muscles and then pull up and push into our imaginary headrest. Pushing in lengthens or strengthens the muscles in the back of the neck, which a lot of times we have neck pain and head pain because we, our neck muscles are weak. So this is a great way to just strengthen those neck muscles. Number seven, the frosting on the cake. We call this one plow, not the yoga, not the regular yoga pose plow, but plowing the back muscles along the spine. These are yoga tune-up balls. They're excellent for self-massage. You can use like tennis balls if you don't have a pair of, or any of these. These are the originals. They work good for my back. If you're a nice big muscular person, maybe a bigger size ball, these are the plus balls. They're created for self-massage. Don't use a lacrosse ball. <laughs> so I'm gonna start at the end of my mat and place the balls kind of high up on my spine and then lay back on them so they're kind of straddling the spine. And then I'm gonna lift my hips and slowly press along, plow along those muscles feels amazing. It can unwind some tight muscle groups so quickly. You can pause anywhere you want. If you find a spot that's a little bit triggery, you can kind of work that a little bit. You can <clears throat> do some arm motions. See how that feels, some snow angels or puppet arms, or a little hug, a little twist on your way down the spine. This one probably wouldn't work so good in bed because the balls would just get kind of lost in the bed, but oh my, it feels so good. You can also use this one on the wall. <clears throat> you can, and you can take the balls out of their tote or leave them in the tote if it helps keep track of them. But along the wall, you can do the same thing and the pressure's not quite as high. So you can come up now on your elbows when you get a little bit high there and curl the spine into a C curve and come into the low back. Just kind of play around, see how you like it. And you will instantly feel relief and deep relaxation. Thank you for watching and joining me. I hope this is helpful. Sincerely hope this is helpful. If you'd like more information in, on the classes I teach or more YouTube tube videos, my website is below and I hope to see you again.